<laughs> All right, we're here with the flip for the men's semi. Off you go, lads. I'll call it. Odds. Ooh. It's evens. It is evens. Uh, we'll start on offense. Okay. We'll play obviously defense and we are going to start down that end. Fantastic. Brilliant. Tim McLeese, captain of Ellipsis. It's me. How are you going to go in this game? Yeah, I think pretty well. Confident in the boys. Everyone's playing very well at the moment. I'm super excited to just get out there and do it. How was your quarterfinal match? Yeah, it was good. Uh, played against a bit of a hometown derby against uh, Chile, hot Chile. Came away with a W, which we're really excited about, and hopefully close with that momentum. All right, well, thank you for your time and good luck for the match. No worries, thanks. I'm here with James Bray. Thoughts on the toss? Yep, so... Uh... Are you going to win? Of course. Thanks for your time. See you out there. Good luck. Cheers. Cheers. We're going to head to a short break. We'll be back with the game soon and our commentators. All right, we're getting very quickly into this game. We're into the men's, the open division semi-final. Simon Talbot here with Kathy McGrath. Kathy. Simon, great afternoon ahead of us. We've got a really hot matchup here before us. Who have we got? We've got Sunder Dice playing out of Sydney and Ellipsis playing out of Melbourne. Should be a good rivalry between the two states. We'll take a quick look at the teams if we can. Sunder Dice first. No, we haven't got them available. We're straight to the game. No time for it. If you just want to give us a quick indicator. Kathy, of who to look for on Sunder Dice? I'd keep an eye out for number 14, Mark Evans, number 26, Liam Varley, and number 37, James Bray, who should know how to play in Canberra. Who are we looking for on Ellipsis? I'm the Ellipsis man wearing the white jerseys today, starting on the right of screen. Rob Andrews, he was just completely dominant in the game we saw from the yesterday. We also want to keep an eye on probably Matt Daly and Alex Evans, provide a bit of defensive mongrel. Daly should also know how to play in Canberra, having been here for uni for a number of years. That women's game, Kathy, where are we? Oh, <laughs> we haven't finish. had much time to set up. It's been a huge day here. What a finish. and uh, An absolute heartbreaking uh, finish there for Factory, but I think Hannah Monty playing on uh, GWS might have enjoyed that oh, one a little bit. She was on another level that game. She was. I think she knew what she was coming here to do, and she did it. Let's hope these boys can bring the same intensity. And of course, all still very unconfirmed, but we think, we believe that that has knocked Factory out of contention. We're still going to wait for official results Oof. from the tournament administrators, but doesn't look great. Factory did do a really great effort being the hometown team here this weekend. They should be really proud of themselves. I, oh, I, hope, I'm, I hope I'm wrong, Kathy. I hope they're still in it because I thought this is the, their year. I hope so too, Simon. But As here we are, Ellipsis versus Dice. Matthews Hunter to Carpenter. Copland. Running with the match coverage. Andrews. McGuckin. McGuckin's got held in line with a couple of steps. Back to Andrews. Throwing in. Wind's really picked up. We expected to pick up after the lunchtime period. Matthews Hunter gets nice up the line throw ahead. Lucia Noel. Heads lateral. Andrew straight back to Matthews Hunter for a quick reset. Sunder really locking down in that front corner. Where Ellipsis are looking to score. They have to head lateral. Copland. Still attacking this Ooh, corner. Finally, lovely swing. Finally swinging back to the field to Carpenter. Daly. As one look sends it back. Not much movement happening downfield. They're expecting place to be initiated, initiated at the front. Andrews on the corner now. He's got McGuckin with tightly oh, marked by Gavin there we go. Ellipsis just working that one up the field. We've seen it from them before this weekend. They're very comfortable. They know they can throw and they can catch and they're happy to do it as many times as they need to to get a goal and they look like they're enjoying themselves after that one. And we're expecting the first few goals just to stick with the offensive team. We're not predicting many turnovers to happen early. We think that teams will just play very conservatively just to feel each other out. These two teams, of course, haven't faced each other yet this weekend. And they've had mixed results against different teams. 
So Daniel, once again, we've got Daniel Clanton on the sideline. Daniel. Thanks, Simon. I do have some updates from the other men's semi-final happening on the, one of the far fields. There has been two passes thrown in the game and two scores. Wow. One all. One all. Of Ooh. course, that semi-final between Sunder Slice, the other half of that club, and I-Beam, who we saw take out that quarterfinal this morning. Another great effort from Sunder to have an XY split of two teams in Division 1 being very competitive. So 1-0 to start this game. We've got a loud sideline. They want it. Beautiful pull. Evans. We'll be calling his name a lot today. Neil. <laughs> Ellipsis pushing them down the field. Comes out wide. Oh. Right. Oh. Mark Neil with the disc. About 45 from goal. Looking upfield. Not much coming towards him. Finally, Evans breaks free. He's got Sudas long. Doesn't like it. Runs one, two. This time he has a go. He's got Mike Neal free. Sam McGuckin's going to have to work. Mike Neal goes full stretch, but it's gone out the back of the end zone. Sorry, that was Ollie Lockman there chasing. Huge, huge throw. Just a little too far. That one landing out of bounds. They look like they're ready to bring it back, though. Huge energy here on the sideline today. Of course, first turnover of the game. Could be a break. Ellipsis will be looking to score this one to get ahead. Of course, throwing down win with that behind them. Tom Toolett taking his time. Taking his full measure to get that this back into play. He'll start 64 from goal. We've got Ellipsis with uh, three cutters in the middle and one out either side. They're really going to be looking to isolate one of these players close to the sideline. Ely finds space. Tullet and Ely, of course, work very well together. Oh. And Mike Neal gets it ahead of Evans, and Alex Evans straight away calling the foul. Not sure what Mike thinks about that. He doesn't look like he thought that was going to be any sort of discussion on that. Yeah, uncontested. Oh, a good so chat from the boys. Walked away, just took a deep breath there. Obviously a lot at stake in this game with a spot tomorrow's final up for grabs, so. It's always great to see spirit upheld when there's so much at stake. Alex Evans for ellipsis. Short to tool it. He's got Lyon and Sivner damn long. Alex has got lateral to Prendergast. Really opening up the field. Sivner dam. Shaky lateral to Prendergast. Nasker tuning up line, gets it back. He's got line long. Again, Ely. Vanderweed right on his tail. He's gone back. He's backwards. thrown to no one. A rare miscommunication there on the mm. reset there. Evans now, five from goal for Sunder. Those two players usually reading each other's mind, but not there. Blakely. Oh, lovely. Heads backwards and across. Neil finds a free player on that top side of the field. Evans again, Evans and Tullet. Great matchup. Little push pass over the top to Blakely. Not in goal though. Continues across. A lot of lateral movement at the front of the end zone here. Van der Weyden. Sunder just Fo waiting for it to open up, and there it is. Felix Watson sneaking through the gap there. Ha oh, ha. Oh. Sunder maintained the hold. No break for Ellipsis on that point. So both goals to start with, heading upwind. Neither of these two teams should be affected by the wind. These guys have been throwing Frisbee for long enough. A lot of their short and medium passes will be fine, but if we see it go... Up in the air, the long shots, 40 metres plus. Mm, they that will, will be hotly contested. They'll make things slightly shaky. That sounds pretty exciting to me, Simon. Yeah. We think teams will be conservative taking those shots. We know that 
defense, is, defense strategy is often predicated around trying to make offense make those risky throws. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a lot of long cuts streaking yeah. off, heading towards the out of the edge of the screen, but unless the thrower is absolutely certain they can hit it. It probably won't go up. They're not going to let it go. Second whistle going, indicating offense needs to be ready. Here we go, Lip! For Lipsis. And then White Jersey's ready to go. Sunder. Lucky White to pull. With his first pull. Ooh. Good roll on it. This keeps it conservative, keeps it at 50 from goal. Visit. it. Matthews Hunter, Copland. Andrews is a lateral card. He's got McGuck and Long. He's oh, got to send there. that one up. And, oh, oh no. he's over. Oh, no. Just too flat and low. Overstepped. Oh. Overbalanced. Puts it into the ground. Fortunately, it landed inbounds. Andrews and Moore just quickly agreeing that that's happened. So that'll come in for Sunder. About 55 from goal. Lucia Noel. Sunder with an opportunity here to get a break. Looks immediately inboard. Find Lockie White, puts it high. He's got some pressure be, underneath yeah. from Daly. Daly swats that one away comfortably. Nice clean swat too. Beautiful defense from Daly Andrews there. rushes to it to get it going, trying to find Copland. There's now a fair bit of traffic there. McGuckin. They've isolated Andrews and Moore. Moore shut him down. They can't get a clean shot off to him. You can see Lockie White at the top there dragging out as well. The Ellipses have been pushed right back now. 20 from goal. McGuck to Andrews. They're going to have to, Cutters are going to have to change tack a bit. They're no longer in the end zone. Ooh. McGuckin's isolated. Has one look up field. Finds Halden. Streaking players. Constantly moving the fence around with their wide range pivoting. Andrews gives a nod to McGuckin. Oh. Sneaks it through the gap between three Sunder defenders. That was a very fine display of needlework there. Just slotting that one through you wouldn't have thought it was going to come off but he knew what he was doing he knew his receiver and they trusted each other great to see that's as tight as it could have been and it's 2-1 lips is maintaining a hold on their point two no breaks yet so share this game's got to be played at an absolute breakneck speed Of course, all three goals heading to the left of screen so far. The upwind side. And the forecast was that the wind was going to pick up around about 1 p.m., which is when this game got underway. Mm. Could make it nice and interesting. So it'll only get worse before it gets better. But the sun's out, keeping it slightly warm. Oh, yeah, dear. Whistle indicating it's time to start. Get down there, boys. Here we go. Daniel, have you got some thoughts of the game so far? No, but I do have an update from the far field. Sunder up several breaks, 4-1 against I-Beam. Oh, got a big jump there, Sunder slice. We, top seeds, we were expecting to see them in the final. Van Der has the second go at collecting that pull. Shifts it to Evans. Evans oh, beautiful. finds Mike Neal. And brought to Blackley. <laughs> Australian representative team teammates all connecting there. Sean Reid finds Sutas. He throws a moved upfield, and oh, the wind's only just kept that up. Felix Watson. I think the wind saved that a little bit there. It is getting gusty, and that was displayed. Yeah, and again. Huge gust of wind coming through as that lateral throw has first gone up. Of and course, 175 grams of plastic, very, very difficult to control in breezy conditions. As our whiteboards as we're experiencing here mm. at the, <laughs> the conference. We're losing nearly anything we have. <laughs> Ollie Lockman, 40 from goal, finds Walker. Walker has a good long look upfield. Very short throw to Lockman. Lockman looking for Toolet. Oh. Out of range. 
Tulip perfectly uh, fast on his feet most of the time, just not able to reel that one in. It's a little bit too much gas on that forehand shot from Ollie Lachlan. Formerly out of Geelong. Such <laughs> James Walker clearing some uh, natural obstacles from the field. It's Mark Evans to start play for Dice. 64 from goal. Finds a lateral shot. Blakely has a big long look up field because he's got an easy reset behind him. So it has to kneel. Oh, sorry, that was Reed who gets the one two. Heads up field, Vanderweed. Sutas is heading there. Looks like he's not going to do it. So in the slice now, 35 from goal. Find their field position for that time, the lateral pass. Oh, Sutas got a nice fill. Picks that one out of the air. That was a fantastic break backhand by Evans. Evans keeps that forehand low, finding Reed. Reed to Neil. Oh, looking long. He dives to the ground, but he doesn't quite reel that one in. Peter Blakely. Not quite enough to throw. Died, of, died in the air a little bit. He had mm. Peter really hot in his tail. Peter Blakely, a multi time World Games player. World Games being the precursor to the Olympics. The sport's not featured there. Tulip bombs the forehand up. His <laughs> favourite receiving part, oh, Ollie Lockton, like is it. there. I that don't. is sailing, oh, yeah. drifting, oh. fading out of bounds. Gee, Simon, it looks like this wind is going to play a part in this game. Yeah, like we said before, as soon as the disc is more than about three or four metres in the air, very susceptible to gusts of wind. Daniel. I've just been watching the Peter Ely Peter Blakely matchup in the middle. Blakely is being kept very quiet at the moment. Ely on top. Of course, it's so far is the caveat I would add on the end of that. Peter Blakely, no stranger to big occasions. <laughs> Played in many of Sunder's seven previous national championship wins over the last decade. Goodness me. They are a force to be reckoned with. Oh, Evans tried to go under the arm of Tulip. Looks like a call. Yep. Yeah. Chopping the arms by Tulip there on Evans. No argument there from Tulip. So the disc resumes with Mark Evans. Still on the sideline. Still there. 55 better. from goal. Gets it under his arm that time. Finds Neil. Neil to Reed. All the cuts coming close towards him. Evans oh. fires it up the oh. line. Laser this time. Felix wants it. He's got to do some work. He's got to get there. Goes big. Oh. And, oh. Huge rundown. Really wonderful throw as well. Achingly close. Gets a, oh. the edge of his pinky finger on his left hand around it, but can't oh, secure it. Quite get it. Oh. Maybe he would have done it on Friday when he was fresh, but just not today, Sunday afternoon, with only one day of matches remaining. His legs are probably feeling a little bit stiff, and fair enough, too. Huge work rate out there. Nice. Really Ooh. looking to cover that underspace for the field, but Ely straight into it. It's back to Boyle. Crosby, man, I think that might have been an offensive foul called. By Evans on Ely there. Feels he might have... I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Might have been a bit of a push-up, but... Hmm. They seem to be discussing it fairly well. Yeah, they're in agreement, so it'll come in on stall counter to Boyle. He's looking for something. Yeah, oh. look, he only locked eyes with Lachlan there. Lachlan wasn't moving, wanted him to go to Toolet. Oh, Toolet is called time, time out. out! Goodness me! They are feeling the heat, and I think... Uh, <laughs> Tulik really mustn't have been happy with the uh, offensive options Ellipsis were offering downfield there. To call a timeout, not even just after a turnover, but just mid-point. The, uh, the cuts, the movement downfield had absolutely dried up there, yeah. Kathy. Tulik would be uh, pretty experienced to know what he was doing with that timeout, and I think Ellipsis will come back out with a bit of a better offense off this. It's been a while since... Dice have had to, oh sorry, since Ellipsis have 
has not been able to do whatever they like to do mm. on offense. And so coming up against the very tight pressured defense from Dice. They maybe having to make an adjustment. Maybe not even an adjustment. They might just make a slight tweak. They might start start their movements a fraction earlier just to provide those throwers with more options. Mm, of course, when you play different teams, you have to come up against different things and changing your strategies accordingly can sometimes take a few points to get into. And what you'll see Dice do is they'll really, they'll really stand oh, almost three or four metres to the high side of the players they're guarding, just daring ellipsis to try and take those <laughs> high-risk lateral shots on that 45-degree angle looking for the centre of the field rather than pushing it down the line. Whereas ellips ellipsis is... is Offensive strategy is to really try and march it down the sideline until they're about 10 metres from goal. So, mm. a really good counter clash of styles here to, to restart. Number of cutters heading long. Finally gets Clavel under. Heads wide to Birch and oh, that's hit the it's deck. on the ground. He was just out of options. Evans, quick oh, restart. Quick. Gets oh, the it's break in back the end up. Blakely holds, well position, yeah, holds position against no one, but comes down with it anyway. And gets it around. Oh, there was no defenders there on the Sunder, oh, the Sunder walk, Dice player. Walk over Ander Weeden with his first goal. Yeah, they just had to work it to this low side of the field, Kathy, where there was no mm. defenders waiting. And then ellipses were just left in the dirt. And you can see them standing there in the middle of the field looking a little bit confused. So you see the high grab there from Blakely, and you see just... All the numbers for Sunder just on that left side. Mm. And just none no, of the ellipsis defenders were, just, just were not ready for not that movement. Not ready at all. They'll be coming out expecting that one in the points to come. Blakely, a very accomplished ultimate player. Absolutely Beautiful. thrives in those situations where things are on the line. Mm. Being able to draw adrenaline from tight situations is definitely a skill in sports and just about every aspect of life. Score is two all and we've just ticked over the 20 minute mark. Do we you are. think we're gonna make time cap this time? I think we're gonna go well beyond time <laughs> cap, Kathy. It's, of course, the first of 15 goals wins the game, but once we reach 100 minutes, if neither team's at 15, that score target is reduced and of course, you can't run the clock down. You have to win, score the last goal to win the game. McDonald with pulling duties this time. Daly lets it hit the ground. A good decision, I think, from Daly there. Swan, Carpenter, Copland. Quick lateral movement to this near side of the field. McGuckin, centimetres from the sideline. Doesn't have anything up the line, so resets to Carpenter. Carpenter looks lateral. No one forthcoming, so it takes the easy option to Copland. Copland's got Andrews up the line, but <laughs> Carpet urging someone to come towards him in the high side. Noel's the looking for that uh, block there. Putting on a great dump mark. Copland, he's got a number of cutters heading towards him for lateral options. Howden. Big throws going up. Rob Andrews on guard. <laughs> Gavin Moore is coming oh. in. This is going to be a big one. And Andrews goes high. And that's knocked away. Knocked away. Swatted Looks away. Looks like a turn. A incomplete happy turn. either way. No calls. Both players really having a stretch up for that one. This is the high intensity we were talking about, Simon. Neither of these two teams are afraid of anything like that. Got plenty of uh, jumpy boys on the line here. <laughs> Lips just look like they might have won the height, but it's all about the springs. Oh. He's hit it to a two on oh, one. That's no. flying up. Flying up, flying yeah. long, out of reach. Here's the big throws we were hoping to see. You can hear the chatter from the sideline as the teammates help them out on the field. Daly 
Trying to search for Andrews. He's got Gavin Moore closely guarding him. Can't just get free easily. Copland. Nothing coming towards him. Might have to retreat into their own end zone. Carpenter catches the rising short throw. Swan. Oh, oh. Dangerous game like. being in the end zone. Howden. Back to Swan across to Andrews. Doesn't continue to. Carpenter keeps it in the middle of the field. Oh, Copland. No. Noel with a huge bid coming off his player. Carpenter just in field. Guarded there by Thomas. Loopy backhand around to Andrews. There's no forward movement available here, Kathy. No, they're just shutting them down. Oh, but some things you can't shut. Looks like Ellipsis did a bit of a Hail Mary there. Sunder just really shutting down anything coming in under, and they just had to send it to not really anyone, but it has got the disc away from their goal line. It was to Helton's advantage, but just overcooked just too far for him. Was Jim Noel, Lockie White, the two youngsters moving the disc for the Dice defensive line. Thomas dropping back. Lockie White just getting impatient, having to send it. That's going to fall short to the advantage of Rob Swan. Gavin Moore was heading that way, but there is a call. Ooh, nothing? No? Retracted? I thought it like turnover stand. might have been a stall count. But call retracted, turnover stands. Hmm. Lips is here with another chance to move it up the field. Let's see if Sunder's uh, defense can hold like it did last time. Oh, he's got to get down for it, but he's got it. Got Great him. hands. Andrews, he's got oh. Daly long. He sends it in board. Gus oh. McDonald with a huge leap. Huge, but Daly just, just waited that one out. Doesn't get paid to it. McGuckin has to. Momentum carried him into the end, so he had to cut back. And wow. Short dish to Copland. There it was. Ellipse is really showing that if they can break through this really hard slice, uh, deep dice, sorry, not dice and slice, gee whiz, dice defense, they'll be able to trust themselves and get those long shots in and make a really nice, easy goal. Of course, Gus McDonald with a huge layup bit before. Nearly got fingertips to it, Dan. Yeah, just moving across to the women's uh, division quickly. The semi-final matchup has been sorted. Ellipsis versus GWS Factory crash out. They came fifth. Wow. So that Ooh. that's the first versus fourth. And then that would leave us with Manly versus Rogue in the other semi. That's correct, Simon. Which will be live on KO Sports as your KO freebie this afternoon. Three, two to Ellipsis. It's all just been all goals scored in the left side end zone at the moment. Hmm. We've seen a couple of turns go each way, Kathy. The defensive pressure is really up there, but they're each going this afternoon. They're each uh, managing to get it back once they've got the turn. So they are. it's still very back and forth. Neither team having any kind of advantage here, no. really. It's just going to be an it's arm a very evenly matched. It'll be an arm wrestle right to the end. That's what we like to see. Andrews. Oh, look at that. Bit of pace on it. So nice Dice, roll. Sunder Dice will get to move it before the defense arrives. Evans, Blakely on his own. Gets his body down behind it. It's a nice roll, Poly. Good form. Kneeled. Another highly decorated player. Sudas, Blakely, quick movement to Neild. Has a look infield, but too much traffic there. Some picks called, and that looked like it was a bit of a mess. Yeah, Sean Reed having to dodge a few bodies there to mm. get free, and Tom Boyle trying to follow him there, just avoiding the collision with players heading upfield. So Neild. Short reset to Reed. It's wide to Sutas. Another Ooh. swing around and Evans Ooh. attempts to jump it in. Doesn't land inbounds. Oh. Big long play searching for Neil. Ely was him. in the area, but he couldn't quite get there. And he looks like he's kicking himself. Oh, beautiful throw there from Evans. Just had a lovely curve on it. Wow. 
Very, very difficult to throw those upwind, Daniel. Yeah. Got an update from the other men's semi-final. I-Beam just called a timeout. They're down 7-2. Oh. <laughs> Deary me. I-Beam, of course, coming off a win against Fisherwick United in our game this morning. So the slice making very light work of that semi-final. Mm -hmm. It's barely, what, not even half, just on half an hour in. And they've put in almost half the goals they need. <laughs> We'll see if they can keep it up. But we have seen I've been fight back before. Meanwhile, here three all the score. Goals are not coming comfortably or easily. Yes! To either team. <laughs> oh dear. We've the got a bit of noise on the sideline. The voice is starting to get to rise from the sideline. Lending their energy to their teammates. The eighth, the eighth player, it's often called, the <laughs> sideline. It can, can be very, very helpful. Mm. Depending on what they're yelling, of course. Mark Evans has uh, called himself across to the defensive line for this point. Whew. Sends the pull up. It's gone a long way in the air. Yeah, got some distance on that one. Ellipses left to restart their own goal line. Copland, toilet. We've seen this Thunder defense yep. be very strong seen down this here. this play, Rob Andrews oh. keeps that just in bounds. He's done a few of those. Wants to step out for that back end, gets it in. McGuckin oh. keeps his foot in bounds, secures the catch. Ellipsis must have run some drills on how to do that. <laughs> Throwing down the hallway. McGuckin wa looks to get that around, back end out. Down the line instead, heads back to Copland. Copland looking for Halden, who can't get free. Daly also can't get free. It's Rob Andrews heads out oh. wide and... Hits the ground the, just took that one away. Hits the deck. Lockie White with a quick restart. Varley. Back to White. Mark Evans catches off his toes. A couple, a couple Varley streaking. It's taken a long time to look for his reset on that one. And Halden has said, no. Nope, oh, a stall. That, that was 10 seconds, champ. And Evans saying. <laughs> Me. Evans uh, claims he got it out. The pass was completed, so feels like it's going to be feels like it's going to be contested. Stall out a very interesting call as counting to ten mm. when you're in these high stakes situations. Looks like a contest. Contested stall. So what does it come back in on, Simon? Comes in on eight, so Evans has just under two seconds. To get rid of it, he'll look at one. Yeah, head, that's what he's got to do. Long. He's got Gavin Moore at the end oh. of it. Oh. Can't quite reel it in. Drop just in front of him. Not a bad look when Not you've only got... Not a bad look at all. When you've only got... One second to throw that, really. <laughs> one second to throw, and you see more out the back there. You think, well, why not? I could do a lot worse than this. So Tulip will restart. Technical stoppage called by Lockie White. Wouldn't want to trip over your shoelaces in a game like this. <laughs> so Tillett taps the disc to restart play. 64 from goal. Howard and flashing across the field. Dice are wherever. They've got a lot of players around the disc, Dice. Oh, it's, it's Callahan country down here. Oh, oh. Daly. Howard and Still in there. Doing a lot of work, working across the field rather than up and down. He's got the space to operate oh. in. He's put that throw too high out of the reach of McGuckin. And Varley looks like, nope, not going to pick it up. Varley just sees it to ground. Mm. And what, a few players walking away from him, not many walking towards it. Evans, U turns. He'll pick it up. 20 from goal. We'll see that vertical oh, formation. Varley making a cut. He's got the line oh. to Varley. Oh, that's the. Oh, oh no. 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 Copley oh. wastes no time. <laughs> Picks it up to keep going. Oh. Matthew Sunter was in all sorts. He didn't know where the disc had went. <laughs> Vala couldn't keep it in bounds. Opportunity goes begging. Here's another opportunity. Go begging for ground. ellipsis. <laughs> Evans, he'll pick it up. All right. Let's see if they can do it again. About 15 from goal. He's Vali looking clearing out. He's got eyes for Gavin Moore. No one else. Oh, Vali just gets got a short the short There we go. And just shoves it into the lap of Gavin Moore and says, here you go. Here's your first goal. And that's the first defensive break 
Mm. For Sunder Dice, they take a 4-3 lead. And they are looking very happy with that. Liam Varley will be pleased after that fumble earlier. He's, of course, uh, been practicing his beach ultimate over the Easter break, now coming out and having to play on grass again. <laughs> Sunder really uh, celebrating a well-deserved win there. Lips is looking like they've got their heads down a little bit, but, of course, they're no stranger to high-level competition, and yeah. they will be back in this very soon. Of course, it's only a one-goal difference. They still maintain the offensive advantage, so they will receive this pull. Heading downwind, so... Not oh. a big ask to bring it back to four all. As we re-see that play, and you could just see how happy they were to get a break. Yeah, it's always the first defensive break of the game. is a big one to get. Gives you that real mental boost that we're on top here. But Got to stay there. It's easy to get a point ahead, but yeah. staying there is another matter. Liam Varley, one of the captains of this team. He's... They're giving a few late instructions, picking matchups, it looks like. I think they'll come down with a. It'll be a fairly loose match defense, I think. Sunder Dice, or both Sunder teams, really. But they keep their assignment. They keep them, they're responsible for keeping their eye on one defender, but also covering a space. So there's a lot to, lot to pay attention to and keep an eye on. A lot of communication required yeah. amongst the players on the field, which is very hard to do when you're running at such a high level. Three whistles go, indicating 75 seconds. Lucian Noel has to put that one up. It's lucky to drift it inbounds. Swan picks it up, gets it moving to Andrews. They're looking to try and isolate, isolate McGuckin deep, and they've sent the oh, shot up. He's got a couple of defenders with him, oh, but he's got to reel it in right Not on the doorstep. In. He's got Daly out wide on this bottom oh, side, so he puts it across, oh, and he's put it behind no. him. No, a really unnecessary error just in the heat of the moment. Oh, just Sunder here with another chance. Ellipsis don't make many errors. We could see what he was trying to do. He was trying just to float mm. out to his advantage because he was unguarded, but just, just didn't okay. misjudge his pace or misjudge the angle of the throw. Andrews is right on top of this, and that's gone to ground, I think. I think that that was Michael Thomas, who I only got a fingertip to that one. So Ellipsis get a reprieve, and Toolet will pick it up pick right up on the goal this. line. They've isolated Sam McGuckin in the middle. We've got Lou on the mark. Gavin Moore with the matchup on McGuckin. And you, trying to use there a trying to use a peripheral vision there to judge the movements of mm. McGuckin, but just McGuckin all he has to do is step just one way, then the other. A couple of quick little steps, lost his defender, and made the throw all too easy for Toolet. Daniel, what did you see? So for everyone watching at home, the way to get free when the defender isn't watching you is to wait for them to turn their head, and then you go the opposite direction. Yeah. Gav Moore caught out there. Really simple error. Gavin Moore, one, in the opinion of a few, one of the finest defenders, defensive players in ultimate in Australia. Mm. Is, is everyone else catching one. up? <laughs> <laughs> Four each. The score. So Sunder on offense now. Throwing downwind. See what they can do. Let's see what sort of uh, defense ellipses bring on here. So the clock ticks towards 40 minutes. Gee, it only Dead. feels like about 10 minutes, Simon. <laughs> it's, it's been so exciting. 37 minutes in. Oh, what a wind-up. Where is that disc? It's come down with snow on it. Oh. Evans field it with three Plenty ellipsis shirts time around him. to set that up. This won't bother Evans too much as he whips the lateral out. It's like a bit of a poachy defense here. Blakely. Neil just threw the gap there. Moved into match. Looked up to Evans, who's Wesley Fovell with the job trying to guard him. So it has. We've got a call. So this has a disc there. Pick was called, and so has just Whoa. asked the upfield players, did that affect what was happening here? 
It was Toolett who was uh, trying to run down Sutas, so this could be back with Evans. Sutas and Toolett will have been playing on the same team many a time. They'll know what each other are doing. Evans doesn't like the short options available to him, so heads inboard. Reed to Blakely. Van der Weeden kneeled. Evans is going deep, but no long throw available. Reed. They're worried about Neil as a deep threat, but that just means he can get the easy shorter cut towards the disc. Van der Weeden, Reed. Plenty of space available on that high side. Huge layup here from McGuckin there. This player leaves him in the on the ground, and there we go. Blakely takes advantage of the space. So after after McGuckin laid that made that big mm. attempt at the block there, Kathy left the left his teammates upfield scrambling to try and cover the loose players, and, yeah, and that just the opened up the uh, the field for Dice there to just walk that one in. Yeah. But in getting the, a layout block, Simon, would be great when it happens, but it does leave you lying on the ground if, if it doesn't. Pete Blakely, their centre of screen. In just a moment, he'll just take off towards that back corner, and that was right mm. at the moment when Ely was trying to work out. He was trying to cover two players, two at, players once at once there. Just giving him that little advantage. Great field awareness to... Yeah, just watching know. the play unfold and just picking the moment. Mm. Watch the top right, top left of the screen. He'll just come in from that angle, and you see Lachlan just... He oh. heard, the, heard the call from Ely, but wasn't sure what he was looking for. 5-4. <laughs> Ellipsis with the offense opportunity to keep the score even. Mm. Having a good chat on the line there. It's a mix of offense and defense players down there. See so Copland on the field, also Matthews Hunter, Boyle. At this point in the tournament, Simon, I think we see a few people changing lines, just mm. uh, nursing a few injuries. Some players probably. And you tend to put your stronger players tend to see more game time if they're mm. feeling. Feeling good. Feeling up to it. The stamina's good. Give Lucky you rookies White. a bit of a chance when you're winning. Lucky White with the pull for dice. Only makes it to, makes it to about 45 metres from goal. For ellipses to work it. McGuckin. Noel hot his heels. McGuckin sends oh, it down the line. Lucky for it's Andrews. Be, oh, Andrews had to oh, go. Oh, no. Well, that's twice that's happened. Andrews had to oh. go early because he... He, he just knew. knew. Yeah, he knew more was coming and mm. just overthought it, I think. Oh, a big layup there from Matthews Hunter. Leaves, Matt, leaves Evans unguarded. That's sailing out and that's not Ooh. going to land in Ooh. bounds. Are you sure? Not some sure players pointing in, some players. Mm, I think that might have just bounced in. See, most players pointing in. Looks mm. like I've got a run. You see the replay there? Oh, oh just, that, just. That edge. <laughs> just. And that is. Very, very lucky for Sunder. That's an extra 45 metres of field position. <laughs> Copland. Oof. Inboard to Andrews. It's Andrews and Moore matchup. This is pivotal. Oh, Copland oh, has a couple oh. of goes at it. Deary me. That's Evans. The tiredness showing there. Up line Moore. Has a look at the end zone. Moore being very influential yeah. at this point. Evans oh. pops it up. Finds Mitch Hanna. Beautiful. Sneaking up to that high corner. Dice really, really had to work for that one. We saw a few turns, but they got there in the end. Once they work it towards the end zone, they keep they keep four, sometimes five throws out of that space, which leaves players just to be able to walk, mm. not walk, just make a dash for a front corner or a back corner and be unguarded. Daniel. I have another update from the far field. Colony stretching their lead. They're out to 9-3 against the Newcastle I-Beam. Deary me, it's looking nearly set in stone up there, but you never know until the game is done. Oh, look, I think we'll be ready to call that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can live in hope, Simon. Nothing's impossible. As Ellipsis, we watch that replay. Ellipsis a quarter time out here, and we can see their coach, Cole Fink, just having a quick chat with the leadership. Ellipsis, they fundamentally nothing wrong. No, it's almost just like they're not quite but quick enough, which is a. I feel like I shouldn't say that about Ellipsis. You can't say they're not quick enough. It's just one or two. It's just a couple of skill errors have crept in. 
Mm. We've seen Andrews have two drops now while under heat from Gavin Moore. We saw Copland with a rare drop before as well, so we have a look at this. This matchup with Moore and Andrews, and Andrews oh. that grab from McGuckin. They're not they're willing to flirt with that sideline. Mm. It's, uh, mm. it's a, if you can keep it in, it can be really great, but it's so yeah. easy for it just to not. And defenders tend to sort of leave anything that close to the sideline and are willing to leave it free just because it is so close there. So mm. Galipsis sort of look to build a strategy around that assumption made by defense. But again, the as you mentioned before, you have to you have to triple it so well. It's there's a fine art to keeping that this flat and straight. There is, and we can hear that ellipsis are getting riled up. They know well, what they've got to do. Of course, ultimate a very easy sport to pick up, just to be able to get a basic game going with your friends. Mm. Just Super need. accessible as well. Yeah. All you just need is a little bit of plastic and some eight, grass. Eight cones, a disc, and some people to play with. But like any other hobby or sport, it takes a bit of mastery. Plenty of places. Sure. These of guys are at the top of their game. Plenty of clubs around Australia. Always looking for, always welcoming new players. You want to give it a crack. As well as plenty of social leagues, which are a great way to have a bit of fun with your mates on a weeknight. So as we wait to resume play from this time out, we see Sunder, Dice, Gavin Moore on the field again. Gus McDonald with the disc ready to pull. Liam Barley also on this line. We've only seen him playing from the right side so far this game. He's still got his trackies on. He can't even have warmed up yet. Toilet. Fields a disc about 60 from goal. Wants Andrews, but Andrews has got oh, that more match up again. And I don't know about that one. Drag his foot a bit. So. More straight away mm. saying you've that's mm. out of bounds and a couple of uh let's have a look at the side. Yeah. Oh it's uh, no, no, hard no, for no, us no. to say. <laughs> let's see if we can get that slowed down. So we see and uh it's slowed down, it's that's oh <laughs> <laughs> Gavin Moore putting words in our mouth there. <laughs> of course, we've, we've got the advantage of a replay. Players are allowed to ask us, but... At the end of the day, it's what they decide it's their on the decision. Field. Let's get another look at that and see. As we, It's hard to look okay. He's got in when the hand now. When did he have now. control? In, in the line? I call that in. Ooh. I call that in. But Simon, I call that out. Gee whiz, we're... What did I they decide? As it's in his hand, he wasn't on the line, but yeah, it's... Mm. But I mean, if we can't agree with the benefit <laughs> of repeat slow... <laughs> We've seen it four times in slow motion. So the players did a sensible thing and send it back to the last completed throw. Mm. So tool it. Being marked there by Kieran Gilbert. Big defensive Ooh. assignment for the youngster, Howden. Looks to reset. He's wanting Lockton, but as a call made, I think it might have been yeah, an uncontested foul. Just a slight tangle of feet there between Valley and Lockton. Mm. So it's going to come in on stall five or six. So it'll be only Tullet only has about his half measure to get through. It. Finds Andrews and Moore coming around oh, in front. Oh, oh, oh. Does enough to knock it oh, out of bounds. Oh. Goodness me. Oh, and if, you can, if, we're st if we're starting to count up the uh, the little win-loss record between those two, Moore's got the edge at the moment. It's proving to be a very exciting matchup, those two players. Oh, but they'll just take a back, thank just you very like much. Just like that, with the clean intercept. Oh, fakes the big backhand. McGuckin. Lou on the mark. I struggle to lock in their defensive assignments. They're all sorted Ooh, now. Throw's gone up. Lockton's gone deep. He's going to oh, have to work for this one. Gonna, Lamb. No. Oh, no. He's laid over the disc. Slide, slid over the top of it. But oh, huge rundown. That was moving very fast towards the ground. Would have been quite a difficult one to reel in. 
looking for the double stats on that play, Lachlan, to get the intercept and the goal. Mm. But no such luck. Lorco van der Weeden. Just have to do it again. As we said, Addy. Oh, not that far. Not that far out of reach. He'll be left to wonder what could have been mm. McDonald. He's got Elton Wu loose streaking deep. It offs to go short to Varley. Varley to Moore on the sideline. Oh, Elton Puts a big Lou, wave. can he get there? Oh, oh sticks the juke out head. and reels it in. And Gavin oh. Moore very happy with himself for that one. Deary me, Elton Luke on his first season here with Sunder, just pulling that one down with one hand, making it look super casual, feeling right at home here in Canberra since he uh, studied here for a number of years. Great to see him out here playing at this top level, really Ellipsis comfortably. Lips is disappointed to give oh. another one out. And with just such confidence with that grab. Sometimes it's very hard to judge those ones coming in, but the, he knew exactly how Ooh, far he could reach. And look what a shot that. from Moore. Oh. Landed that in the dead centre of the end zone under right in Elton's some hand. Real pressure from Rob Andrews on the mark. Oh. What a play! Oh. Just like that, the three goal lead, Kathy. The Thunder hyping themselves up as they should be. Oh, I'm not sure who's going to take this game. I thought Ellipsis might have. Uh, had the edge going into it, but Sunder looking very strong here. If they can win one more part, uh, one more point, that will take us to half time. And we've, we've talked about skill errors from Ellipsis, but let's not take away from Dice's defensive pressure mm. that's forcing those errors mm. to happen. Ellipsis is not a team to make idle errors by any means. A no. real credit to Dice's uh, defense here. Yeah, they're having to make throws at times where they don't want to, to options they might not necessarily have looked at otherwise. and. Catching a frisbee can be great fun in the park with a friend, but when you've got someone like Gavin Moore on your hip trying to prevent you from doing that. It's one of the hardest things in the world. Makes it a little bit less fun. Carpenter. Copland, he's got Ely deep. He's taking the shot. Oh. Evans is with him. Oh. He's drifting out back. Oh. Ely's got position. And Evans has gone early. Did dunk him oh. a little bit, but I think... Uh, Evans went early there. There wasn't might have been a contact, but Ely happy to accept that was incidental and was mm. out of reach for him anyway. That minor gust of wind just uh, keeping that frisbee mm. well, up. We've seen that a lot this weekend that throws that start on this near side and drift over to that high side end up going a lot further than players think. Mm. Shepard, one of the elder statesmen of the sport. White gets that around, back end out. Oh. Copland puts real pressure on Evans. Oh. Evans sends a ball. Oh, right into Daly's hands. Who just waited for that one. I saw that coming. Lips is here with a great chance to get another point on the board. Daly's got Matthew Hunter long. Doesn't like it. Oh, he needs a fill. He needs something. There so, he goes. And, oh, uh, we've got clear, to call up the field. Clear pick in the middle. A number of players converging. And Mitchell Hanna there was... Uh, Left to try and chase Copland as Andrews and Moore are in his way, and you don't want to be running the other, meeting those two in a head-on. Copland, he's got Matthews under shot. He's got Andrews long now. Not really much coming here from Ellipsis. There we go. A guck and under. Finally finds Andrews. Oh, he's got that one. Clearly in bounce. <laughs> a couple of options up the line. Heads in board left to McGuckin. <laughs> Gavin Moore takes the wild swing, thinking he was going to let go of it. <laughs> Very apologetic about that one. So a strip foul occurred. It'll start with McGuckin, but he'll, the stall count will reset to zero. So he's still got his full measure of 10 seconds. Daly, and a great addition to the Ellipsis roster this year. Mm. I think he's sorely missed by Fishwick United. Wide ranging backhand. McGuckin fires in by finds go. Andrews in the front. That's better, Ellipsis, showing us what you can do. Ellipsis finally ticked their number over mm. on the scoreboard. Really beautiful point. Not not letting uh, Sunder Dice take half time that easily. Of course, the 
Once the team in front makes it to eight goals, we head into the half break. It's going to be a late half break. It's mm. typically we're approaching 55 minutes in duration. Daniel. Michael Henry Thomas is back out there for Sunday. I asked him about his various injuries. He's had a bit of bad luck over the years. He said the hand's okay, the AC's okay. He's uh, looking to have an impact in this match. I've seen him provide some good support to teammates on the field, giving him reset options. Of course, the reset options are handy when you've only got 10 seconds to move the disc. You tend to look at your reset once you've hit around six or seven. You want to give them a bit of time to get free for you and provide you with a short, easy pass rather than try and have to hit a long target. Mm. It's definitely the dream. Tom Boyle. Oh. His second season with Ellipsis after a break. Matthews Hunter on the sideline encouraging Ellipsis to get down there after that pull. Evans. He's got Neil, but with the early right on his hip, so has to look at his race. He hasn't got many half much happening. So slings it upfield and happens to find Blakely, who I think knew he was in trouble there. Mm. Pops it up over the top to Van der Weeden. Nice little combination there to advance about 15 metres. So who does? Lefty over. Oh, <laughs> Felix Watson. Cheeky little grab ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Nearly gets another hand on it. And bodies colliding everywhere. And Evan says to Toolit. Mm. Call the foul stoppage. Toolit. Uncontested. I think this player's losing balance there. Nothing. Mm. No Nothing malice, intentional no, at all. Yeah, no malice at all. Great to see them have a chat about it. Likely. Looking at the front corner of the end zone, but now looks laterally. He's got. Oh, and he's oh, just got rid of it in but time. There's definitely a call about something, but they've got to catch it, and they do. Yeah. <laughs> of course, if that call, if that pass went incomplete, the turnover would have stood. Daniel, have you heard what that call was? Yeah, it's a foul on Tom Boyle in the middle, a receiving foul. Oh, oh right. An interesting one, that, Simon. Do you want to talk us through? I haven't heard that call made in a long time, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> so I think there might have just been some... Uh, Okay, so Tom Boyle sees retracted the call. There was just a bit of, you can see that the two of them on the left there, Boyle and Wilco Vanderweed, and I think there was just a little bit of, a little bit of argy bargy between them as mm. Vanderweed tried to get free on that reset. So Boyle was contending that Vanderweed uh, sort of shoved him off a little bit just to try and get free, so. Well, maximum six. I want to know what I come in on. So maximum six. So stalling six or stalling seven? So stalling six. Okay. So we're on the dam, just checking with. Stalling six. Yeah. 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 Just checking where the stall camp resumes on. So six. So Blakely has time for one or two looks. Finds Evans. Evans with his pivot foot inbounds. Ooh, not quite able to keep that one off the ground. Likely having to reach right down to get that one. And uh, we think someone's stood on the desk and has oh. put a hole in it. It's all just checking with the game advisor. Of course, you're only allowed to replace the disc if it's damaged, not with it's warped or anything, but they're up to the go ahead with like it. it I just had a quick check just to make sure there were no gouges or holes. And it's still going to fly true. Locked in. Inside shot to Sydney Dam continues to tool it. He's looking tool upfield. Winds up that four now. He's got Ely oh, with Sudas on his tail. Oh, Ely's gonna oh. go. Oh, huge bid from Ely, huge throw from Tulip, but just not quite able to make that connection. The wind just picking up here yeah. might have had something to do with that. So I've developed a bit of a theory, Kathy, <laughs> in the last game or two, and I haven't got my hands on a spirit level. But I feel like there is a, a very ever so slight mm. uphill mm. slope heading from right to left because we've got a creek off to the far right. And so I think that the reason we're seeing a couple of throws landing marginally out of reach mm. is because of that. They're running uphill. It could be that or I could have just had a very long weekend. Oh, uh, no, I'd, uh, I've heard uh, uphill from a few other complaints as well. Yeah, okay. We'll have to complain to the ACT government about the state <laughs> of this uh, this field. 
not noticeable at all on camera. <laughs> it's only just us sitting here on flat ground looking. Making excuses for the players, perhaps. Yeah, making up narratives. Reed has to just toss that one up on a high store camp. Blakely, Reed. Neil. Oh, he was looking, but he didn't do it. Have Watson Long. Thought it might have been too tough. Vanderweeden. Pick call, but Boyle saying Walker would have had that regardless, so. Just didn't lose the advantage from having to stop for safety reasons. Watch for the reset. Reed bounces it out to Blakely. Blakely looking, got eyes on Neil up to the top right there. Inside shot to Evans. Evans falling over to get that throw out. Number of bodies underneath the mic. Neil oh, goes large. One hand up in the air, just managing to catch that. Peter really doing everything right there except for being a bit taller. Beautiful from Sunder Dice to take half 8 5. We're going to. As the Sunder Dice boys celebrate half time, we're going to throw down to Chantel Jones. Talking with Tom Boyle. That's right, I'm here with Tom Boyle. You're two, three down at half. How is that? How are you feeling? Uh, look, uh, not too great a position. Definitely not where we want to be, but uh, we have been here before. We know that we're capable of bringing it back. It's just a matter of doing, I guess, uh, speaking into existence and uh, doing what we want to be doing. Awesome. You're definitely playing well out there. You're doing some nice long hucks. Uh, what are you going to bring to us in that second half? Um, hopefully just a, a little bit floatier so that Ollie can get there, but uh, <laughs> no, we'll see what happens. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. We're going to head to a quick break and we'll be back with you after half time. Stop! You're all looking at me! You're judging me!
welcome back to the second half of this Sunder Dice v Ellipsis game here. I'm Kathy McGrath. I'm here with Simon Taller. Simon, how are we going? Well, it's semi-final time. We're getting to the business end of the tournament. The top four battling it out. And Sunder Dice, they've taken an 8-5 lead. And it has been a battle so far. The game clock's getting quite up there and uh, looks like it's going to be a hotly contested second half. They're going to be... Still going to be here for a while, so if you're joining us here on KO Sports, your weekend KO freebie. We hope you're enjoying the coverage. We're here to see cool. some fantastic action. Andrews. Beautiful pull, wonderful hang time. Oh, right into the back right of back. the end zone. This is pinned oh. them right back. Evans. It's Callahan country. Oh, 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 oh. He's fumbled it, bounced off the chest, had no. a second goal at a oh, two or three easy. started quickly. There we go, ellipsis set. And we are going to take this game. We are not over yet. You couldn't have asked for a better start to that <laughs> second half. It was fast. It was exciting. And they're looking like they're enjoying it. Deary me. Dan, have we got some score updates from other fields? We do at the moment. The other semi final, Sunder is up 12-5 against I-Beam. The adjective that was used is ugly. Ugly. <laughs> Uh, but this at this point of the season, Kathy, you're not looking to play. No, you're looking in, to get the job done. <laughs> you're not looking to play well, just well enough. Another. Ellipsis, perfect start to the second half to get the turn early. Getting a bit of momentum. They were sort of lacking that before half time, but it looks like whatever they did in half time must have worked. Now the sidelines in loud voice. The energy is up. They are ready to claw this back. So the line decides in their defensive match. They've picked a very strong line. <laughs> Flavel, Ely, Andrews, McGuckin, Evans, Toolett, Boyle. Don't be, don't be surprised to uh, if there's a quick turn to see it picked up quickly and shot straight up field. That's what they'll be looking for. Amazing hang time again on that pull, Evans. That's what's in there. Oh. A couple of numbers underneath the oh. Flavel. What a grab. What a grab. He's given up a lot in hype and had the right position. Guy large flips it out. Another quick score. Blackley goes oh. early. Wow. What's <laughs> with the that grab scored. there just before? He must be pleased with that. A huge grab in a hotly contested matchup. Felix Watson, what a oh. play. Incredible. And the Dice team is really getting around him. Lots of hugs, lots of high fives. Deary me, a very quick start, fast pace after half time here. After we saw a lot of long points in that first half, we've seen. Neither team wasting any time. Two very quick points with only seconds of action. <laughs> Blakely having to go early and uh, gets a bit of a cuddle from Alex Evans there for his troubles. <laughs> On a cool day like today, I don't think you'd be complaining too much about that. 9-6. So to work for Ellipsis, they need to get the disc off Sunder. Mm. On, well, they need to put these ones in. So they receive this pull. They need to put... They can't afford another turn. Yeah, hold this possession, get it in for a goal to bring it to 9-7. Then they have a defensive opportunity to close that gap. And we've seen Ellipses have the ability to just take their time, do 100 throws, and mm. I think that's what they need to do here. Have to really slow it down a bit. Chantel, what have you seen? Uh, just chatting to Boyle, their captain of Ellipsis, and he said that their directive on the sideline communication was to just make sure everyone is up on their toes, involved in the game, getting loud. Daly feels the pull. Matthews Hunter. Is Copeland out wide, heading away from him now. So he hits McGuckin. McGuckin has got a Andrews and Moore once again. Oh, I was going to get worried about our camera there, the way they were moving. <laughs> Daly. That was a good long look and goes for the quick reset to Copeland. He's looking back for him. Looks as comfortable losing some territory. No movement in the stack. The cutter's just directing him, just reset it, buys a bit more time. Now they're moving around. 
Max Howden. He's got Bennett Carpenter up the top of the screen there long, but doesn't like the look. Andrews, Daly. Cuts sort of going deep one at a time, then coming towards the desk, but Daly. He's got to look at Andrews. Oh, Moore's something. guarding him out, but the throw's gone up. Howden provides the bailout. Heads up the line to Matthews Hunter. He's got oh, Andrews. Look Andrews. At that. Oh, the Matthews Hunter to Andrews connection there. Just beautiful. Had lots of separation from that time. If you Dan, back. what do you see? I just want to talk about Max Howden for a moment. Mm. The ellipsis offense completely started to... It, it was at a standstill. Yep. And then Max Howden got involved and the wheels started <laughs> turning again. Yep. And really off the back of his play that they scored that one. Yeah, I noticed him just a, a play early. He just stood in there and just used his voice to direct traffic a bit, called everyone in as play was live and said, right, let's just go again. We're a bit of a mess. Hit the reboot button. And then he was the one after hitting the reboot button just to provide that run laterally back and forth across the field on 45 degree angles, just kept keep providing those forward options. Mm. So. They did what they needed to do. We said they couldn't get a... Couldn't lose that possession, and they didn't. This is where it begins now, their defensive line. Oh, Andrews, Prendergast, Ely, Burchett, Tullett, Lochnan, and Boyle. The second whistle goes, indicating the offense needs to be ready, which they are. So Boyle obliges, sends a pull up. First easy pass, yield. <laughs> Looks at the long forehand. Fires it at Burchett's feet. And Great hand signals out there for the pick call. A bit, of a bit of a mess in the stack after that throw has gone up to Blakely. I'm not sure where that call actually came from, but okay. they're just agreeing on positions. Mm. Blakely being guarded by Peter Reilly. And Watson long. She's just go back to Evans. Evans is making eye contact with Blakely at the front of the stack, wanting the option to come from him. Neil comes under. Fairly crowded on his near sideline, so he moves laterally. Nice little go fetch pass to Evans. Evans fires it through the middle. Oh. Intelligently finds Sudas at the back of the formation. For a big gainer. Cool. Ten minutes to go. Sudas keeps looking forward. And he oh! finds Watson through the hands and Neil <laughs> there to back up his young teammate. Jury me, it looked like a bit of a Hail Mary throw and it didn't look like it was going to come off. But Oh, it was interesting decision making by Sudas yeah. there. I don't think he looked at his reset at all. I only had eyes for the end zone. It was very uh, chaotic in there as so we see yeah, Sudas trying he, to find something. I think he had, yeah, he had a brief look back mm. and couldn't, couldn't see anyone get open and then just flipped it over the top through one set of hands into another Chantel. we just saw two very different offensive attitudes between both those teams ellipsis in the point before that being very clinical clean collected uh sunder being a little bit more chaotic a little bit more risky but it did pay off for them oh, look at that it seems that obviously to to us it looks chaotic but there is <laughs> There's a method to the madness, there has, they there say. Has to be, there has to be. With so many players on the field and so many moving parts, for players just to get open, there's got to be something to it. And we're, we're yet to spot it. Ellipsis are yet to <laughs> make 100% sense of it, enough to lock it down. But it's working, and that's all uh, dice need. If it works for them. Ooh, getting some hops. There's you, Noel. Ready to send this as deep as he can. Give themselves plenty of field to defend. So we took over 75 minutes. Three quarters of the way to time cap. Oh, the float. Oh. For a lot of distance on Daly, not afraid to. I was scared for Daly there. Secure those. <laughs> Coplin. Daly can't get free. Oh. So a pick's been called. I think Gav Moore had to avoid a collision at some point, but it'll remain with Andrews on the sideline. We know he likes those shots down the sideline, so it's going to be, we can see just on the right of screen there, Sam McGuckin being marked there by Elton Wu. So yeah, McGuckin's turned him 
to head under. He can't get the throw. Matthews Hunter with a bullet of a lateral into the chest of Halden. I'm looking for oh, Copeland. Matthews lovely. Hunter. Nice little jab step. This time, Halden flies McGuckin. McGuckin's got daily long. And Luck looks, so heads backwards to Andrews. Andrews with plenty of time. Some of the guys happy to give up negative yards. Another pick call. Yeah. We'll start to see a few more of them yeah. just as the intensity picks up and the offense and defense become just that fraction more chaotic as they really try and both, win this game. Yeah, as both teams start to find cracks in the other strategy and start to exploit them. Players have to start to improvise a little bit. And it doesn't look as tidy as it might have an hour ago. Matthews Hunter, Copland. Still just working among the same few throwers. Garkin keeps providing those options on the 45 degree oh. angles. And Noel's got a fingertip to it. Oh, not quite enough. Really awesome defensive pressure. Daily. Matthews Hunter has sailed, sent himself to the end zone. We'll probably come back towards the disc at some point. Howden. McGuckins has put his hand up and says, send it to me, I'll oh, take care of this. And he does. Just knew exactly when to jump. He knew how to read that disc. He just picked it out of the sky. That's it, for me. I think his continual movement towards the disc over mm. and over again just put Elton, Elton Lou into a bit of a uh, bit of a pattern where he's just said, yep, we're just going to keep coming under and then finally just baited him one way. Sent him the other. If we have a look at the replay, let's see if we can, there he is at the back there. And yeah, uh, Luce is turned. taking a huge bite of that in fake. And just the work rate from the Gucka Zertum, that goal. Daniel yeah. on the sideline. I just had a quick talk with Peter Blakely from Sunder. He mentioned that it's all about fundamentals from here for them. This cross field wind is terrible, but he said the fundamentals will win us this game. Yeah. Of course, with the two goal advantage plus the offense, all Sunder need to do is keep scoring when they have the disc. It's on ellipsis to have to get the disc off them if they want a chance to win, if they want a chance to draw some goals back. 10 8 to the Sydney Siders. Boyle sends a pull up. Bit of hack time on that, but first free pass to Evans to gain some ground. Couple of quick lateral flips to bounce to about 45 to go. Reed to Evans. Suit us. Bit of a zone look here from Ellipsis trying to force pin them to side the sideline. They've now switched to match coverage. Evans urges Neil to come towards him, puts the oh, ball up and Reed. No. Thought that was going to drift into him. But Lachlan said, I'm just going to cut that off at the pass. Coach Cole Fink urging his sideline players to come down and lend some vocal support. Toilet. Sends a blade of a throw across the field, finds Boyle. Field is really stretched out by the cutters here. Flavel to Wicks. Wicks right on the sideline, 30 from goal. He's got Evans coming at him, but he looks to reset to toilet. His mark slipped over, he's got a free look. High stall count, he's got to do something. Pops it over the top to toilet. In line to Evans. Evans with Watson right on his tail. Flavel, oh, Lockton takes two grabs at it. Pick. And a pick call, and you see a lot of hands on these. Some hectic action in these last mm. few seconds. Some really, really close sniffs at the disc here. Holly Lockman with the disc. Couldn't ask for better position. Centre field, 15 from goal. Pops it backwards to Tool at his oh. captain, and a pick's been called as yeah. uh, coming in close quarters. Sean Reed and Lorco Vanderweer just getting tangled up there. Of course, you're allowed to call a pick even if it is your teammate you're about to collide with. 
because stopping for safety's sake shouldn't give you a disadvantage. So Van Der allowed to set his mark. Toilet wants Lachlan, can't find him. Ely instead, Evans. Toilet, they pushed that high side line now. They're going to have to work it into this corner or head backwards for a lateral. He goes over the top, Lachlan. Oh, 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 a bit of a shot there. Oh, oh, oh. Deary me, you can hear Ellipsis just enjoying that. And that's the goal they need. That's it the couldn't, break. Have, couldn't have come at a better time for them. 9-10. Mm, Ellipsis still got a bit of work to do here, but they're working hard. Dan Clinton on the sideline. Yeah, yesterday after the game, I got to chat with Ollie Lofton a little bit about his past. He's been playing for over a decade now, but he's only been playing at the national level for the last three years. Getting involved there. And a bit of Archie Bargy with Mike Neal. Yeah, he, Mike Neal not appreciative of uh, the celebration in his face. Let's have a look at this. So Tullity held under for a long time and jammed it into the corner. And Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's all right. Just emotions running high. As I'm sure they'll be all good friends at the end of the day. Yeah, we start to work towards. We're over 80 minutes into the game. The timeout's been called by Dice just to regroup and just deny, deny ellipsis that momentum or any energy they can build from getting a break. They've still got a, at least a one goal offensive advantage. Ellipsis need another turn and goal to peg back to level. So it's under receive this pull. And so if they can maintain possession, get it in, they keep that two goal lead. And training back and forth like that for them is still enough. For Ellipsis, obviously not. They need to continue these defensive efforts as the wind has really picked up to us. Instead of a few gusts here and there, it's really a steady crosswind, probably about 20 to 25 k an hour heading from left to right. Which you wouldn't be able to tell given the uh, quality of throws we're seeing out here on the field. It looks like a nice still day. And we'll uh, cross over and see if Chantel's got any insights to add. I actually have a score update for the other semi-final. Uh, Sunder Slice are up 14 against I-Beam. Is it 14-8? 14-8. So I've been picked back a little Ooh. bit, but one goal from victory for Sunder Slice to book themselves a berth in tomorrow's final. Mm, it'd be impressive if I-Beam could do it, but uh, I'm mm. not holding out hope, Simon. Of course, the women's semi-final. That'll take place at 3 p.m. Due to start about 35 minutes from now, so. We'll see how this game goes. There might be a slight delay. We've seen a couple of games run into overtime this weekend, and I think that this one could follow suit. That pool's drifted long and high. It's gonna sit for a long time. It's Is getting it close in? to the boundary. It's in. Ooh. Dice have played it as inbounds by catching it on the full. Evans. 60 from goal, wants to head wide, but everyone saw that coming. Takes a safe option on the high side. Ellipsis bringing the defense here. Not much movement happening in the stack. The players up field just wanting the, oh. just a minute fit for the kneel. Some great low breaks around the defense from Evans here. You see another one heading wide, Blakely right on the sideline. Heads in board to Neil. Evans lays out right on his hip, can't get around him. Neil finds Blakely on the close side. Looking upfield. Vanderweeden. Evans slips but still finds separation. He sent a long pass looking for Mike Neil, but huge layout here from Alex Evans. Couldn't quite. It was falling short. Evan said, I'm going to get a hand to it. Just make sure, mm. just to make sure mm. it's definitely our disc. You can never be too sure in this wind if something's going to pop back up. So it's always best to make sure. Yeah, both hands slap it down to the ground. Ellipses have possession. 62 from goal with their wind at, the back, wind at their backs. Evans quick flick to Lockman. He's got Prendergast long. Has a good long look at it, decides he can't get to clean it out, so inside break to Andrews. 
Prendergast almost on his own at the back there. Seven to death. Points to where he wants the cut to go. Toilet. Very low flick to Prendergast. He's put in about 150 metres of sprint so far at this point and will keep working. Toilet. Just over 45 from goal. Puffs a big long forehand up. He's looking oh, for Evans, but that no. has gone mm -mm. west. It's uh, well out. It was an ambitious throw. Just aided by this wind here today. Just needed a bit more downward angle on it just to make it drop mm. late, but just caught the wind, sailed underneath it. Daniel. Yeah, the off. The ellipsis offense there had blown up the Sunder defense. Mm. They were at sixes and sevens. They had no idea. But just a bit of a brain fade there by Toilette, just punting it out the far sideline. Yeah. They probably could have afforded to work it up probably about another five or ten meters before a shot like that. Nevertheless, but Sunder Dice have a chance here. But sometimes you still got to take that just to take that shot just to. Let the defence know you're serious about them. Evans puts a loopy one up of his own. Number of people go up. Evans went early, but Blakely found it. A couple of reset options available to him. Evans trips and falls, and he... So he heads backwards to Reed, but Evans calls the foul on Andrews. Just having a quick discussion about what happened there. Former teammates, Andrews, spending some time with the Sunder Club. Learned his craft in Sydney before his professional life relocated him to Melbourne. And Wade gets it ahead of a flying tool. It takes the advantage of an unguarded throw to find Evans. Heading upward, and Evans very proud of that one. Happy with himself to have picked the right time to move upfield and get the goal and keep that two goal mm. advantage. They're looking pretty pleased with themselves after that one. Ellipsis were able to scramble a few points back onto the board, but Dice just taking that opportunity when it was presented. Ellipsis had had an opportunity. Looks like they're calling a timeout, Ellipsis. Yep, there. A few players wandering around. I don't think they were quite set on which line they wanted to take out for this point, so kind of Coach Cole Fink has... Made the tee with his hands, and they'll take a two-minute break just to see where you group. The mood's still up and about. I was chatting with a few Ellipsis players before their game. They were just having fun. They were just appreciative mm. of getting to being he be here. Especially and after the uh, last 12 months living in Melbourne would have seen yeah. a pretty challenging time. It's probably nice to just be out and about. Daniel, what do you see? We have our first finalist for 2021, the Australian Ultimate Championships. Sunder Slice from Sydney will be representing in the men's final tomorrow. Thanks, Daniel. It'll be really interesting to see the outcome of this game. See if we're going to have a Sunder Sunder final. Yeah. Or Ellipsis might be able to get in there and uh, hopefully have a shot at finally getting this title. I think they all want it. Yeah. Well, it's not the first time Sunder have had two teams <laughs> in the final. I think it's been four or five times we've seen that happen <laughs> over time. Really great tribute to their club to have two yeah. groups of really high quality athletes out here. Yeah. So Slice having to work their way through Crank and then I-Beam. Two New South Wales compatriots. Ellipsis defeating their hometown rivals, Hot Chili, to make this semi-final. Chantel, what are you seeing? Uh, Ellipsis in their timeout discussing uh, that they want to keep calm on the reset. Mm. Um, other than that, it's all about the hype. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're starting to see the reset movers start to get just a, just a little desperate, and they're probably playing a little bit too close to their throwers as they feel the pressure from the defence. So we see them there getting ready to receive this pull. Sunder Dice having their last discussions before Mark Evans will send the pull. We heard the second whistle there from the game advisors. 60 seconds is up. Offense needs to have their hand up. As the defense lines up, ready to charge down this pull and lock on that defensive <laughs> formation early. We'll see how Dice go. I think they're going to try and stop the unders. 
Fantastic run there by Kieran Gilbert to block any second pass options at all. McGuckin winds up to the back end, but sides against it. James Bray got the assignment on, Guckin, this, on McGuckin at this point. Matthews Hunter finds Halden. Halden again working those 45 square angles. Toolet. He's got McGuckin on that high side. Bray goes oh. long. Boyle. All the cuts coming towards it. There's not much happening away. Andrews is going to have no. to have. Oh, yeah. Have a look at the sideline, look at the disc. Thought, can I make a play on this? But just had to let it go in the end, and it's drifted out of bounds. And an injury's been called to the back here. James Bray, he's uh, strained. It looks something up a body, it looks like. I think he's got his head down. So substitution will be made. Lorco van der Weeden will replace him. The Ellipsis take the chance to make a substitute of their own. Dan Matthews Hunter coming off for Peter Really. Just to apply a bit more defensive pressure. Daniel. Yeah, James Spray looks to have hurt his right arm shoulder. He got a little bit of out of shape there on that layout bid. Yeah. So Evans to pick up the disc for Dice. Taking his time. Allowing his cutters to catch their breath. Places his pivot foot in bounds about 25 from oh, goal, and that's no. bounced off the chest of Liam Varley as he got low. Oh. Great effort there from Varley, but just giving Ellipsis another look at their 10th goal. Tall it to McGuckin. McGuckin's had plenty of this today. Up the line, and it's drifted into the hands, but a pick's been called. So that'll probably come back. Hmm. Seem to be having a chat whether they think it. Oh no, maybe. It doesn't look like it's affected. So that throw is going to stay downfield. Throw looking back. Tool it. Oh, bit of contact there on the mark. It was Halden who had that catch up there, and he tells you he just looked bad. They've got to try and punch it into this corner, but. Five dice players around there are saying, no, they need to move it this way. Lashley, where they've got numbers. Copland sits on it in the centre. Boyle. And pick's been called. I'm not sure. I think, I think a couple of players there just assume that because there was contact, we should stop and sort this out. But I don't think a call's actually going to be made. But because the, because the stoppage took place, it'll reset with Boyle having possession, centre field about 10 metres from goal. Fakes an inside shot, tells his cutters where he wants them to go. Copland, a couple of juke sex with the reset, oh. hits the free player in. Max Haldi, he's uh, slipped as he Ooh. landed. Looks like a groin or a quad. He's uh, strained. He's not moving well, so he's taken the substitution. But whoever replaces him will keep possession of the disc. So Oliver Lochnan will come in and not a bad substitute to make. <laughs> bring, on one of your, bring on one of your better throwers. So he'll have possession taking place of Halden. Have a look ahead and McGuckin's lost his feet. Inside oh, shot, but he's beautiful. throwing it right into the leg of Mitch Hanna. Really leans into it. He's got, we've got Moore oh, versus Andrews again. Good. Bit of jostling, bit of position. Gavin Moore's going to have to go, but he's <laughs> left it for his young teammate, Kieran Gilbert. <laughs> and just like that, end to end, Ellipsis were on the doorstep, hoping to keep themselves in this. But, but in just seconds, it's gone all the way to the other end. Dice really seem to be taking this game away now. 12 9, Daniel. Ellipse. In big games, big players stand up. Mark Evans, that forehand, oh. he leans into it and puts that thing all the way in the end zone. Incredible. Put his entire body behind it. That is a that is a 65 metre throw out mm. in the curve, and it's probably travelled closer to 70. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Impressive feat. He'll be happy with that one. End to end, unbelievable. 
And that's, that has to hurt Ellipsis mentally, that one, to be so close. And instead of being 11-10, what could have been, it's now 12-9. The cob clock keeps ticking. We're getting close to that 100 minute cap. Mm, Ellipsis are really going to have to bring something out now if they're going to keep in this game. So you can hear the voice of the Sunder slice. Their club mates have come over to <laughs> rile them up, lend their support. They want they want them in the final with them. A slice v dice final. <laughs> Ellipsis being the only club right now that can prevent that. Swan. Great little go fetch throw to Daly. Daly's looking at me. Oh. Copland's unguarded. Miscommunication on the defense here. Ooh. Copland goes up. Takes it ahead of Noel. Great to Andrews. Foot from Daly. Helders recovered. He's back on the field. He dishes oh, no. out. To and Rob Andrews has run that in. I didn't think he was going to get there, but he showed how fast he was. He was never in doubt. Matt Daly showing I can throw mm. long forehands too. Matt Daly really proving to be an asset here on this ellipsis lineup. Yeah, there was a quick miscommunication on the defense there, Daniel. Did you see that? Blown coverage all the way there. Sunder, no idea. They need to sort that out because ellipsis, they're coming. Mm, I was starting to think Ellipsis might be out of this game, but they just showed that they are not. Well, obviously, oh. They, oh. they had the poor reception at that Andrews point. So sprinting that down. Where was they should have put that in. What they need the now, though, Kathy, they've got to take this disc off dice. And once they do, and work it upfield. They've got to keep it. We've seen them keep it. They know how to keep it. And if that happens, all of a sudden the three goal margin will become one. Currently mm. it stands 12 10. The Sunder Dice, 97 minutes ticked over. We won't hit the 15 cap. Once we get to 100 minutes, we'll determine the new score target. Their second overtime game of the day. <laughs> Plenty of action for the viewers here on KO. And away just lets that hit. That's oh. a loose throw straight, straight, oh. straight into the lap of Tulin. He was like, yes, thank you. I will take that. Tool, lots, lots of players close to Andrews. Boyle says, I'll stay out wide for an easier oh, throw. But what? Bangs it into the corner Amazing. to Alex Evans. <laughs> and here we go. Okay, Ellipsis bringing the margin up to 12-11. They are not out of this yet. I shouldn't have doubted them for a second. <laughs> That's exactly what they needed, the quick turn, oh. the quick goal to keep touch before we hit time cap. Daniel. Yeah, interesting strategy call here. Rob Andrews now playing both ways for Ellipsis. Oh, mm. well, why wouldn't you? Just, get, just <laughs> He's proving his value there on the line. No subs, no water. Stay on the field. Mm. Get it done. Tulit as well, also really showing just how well he reads the game. Just being able to come in there and just pick that up. That it's like it was meant for him. That first pass was just too complacent, mm. just too floaty. There's the siren. So, this point will be completed. And then we'll have a game to whatever it is. So it looks like it should be a game to 13. Well, if Dice put this one in, Ooh, that makes it game to 14. You're right. If Ellipsis scores this one, it becomes sudden death. Oh, I don't know who I'm going for here, but this is a bit exciting. <laughs> oh, Lips has got the downwind advantage this point. And they want it. We've seen it. I see Andrews there. He's got Lockton. He's got Toolett. He's got Ely. McGuckin. They've bought on. <laughs> The strongest line they can. <laughs> Puts a roller pull, aiming to get that out of bounds, but Evan stops that with his foot. Sujo's playing soccer. It's done enough to enable them to lock on that offense now. Evans. Looking Mark a little bit stagnant here. Marked by Andrews Reed. Not a lot happening ahead of the desk. They're just going to have to bounce around a lot. Long oh, no. bullet. He was searching. 
for both Sutas and Mark oh, Neal, who are heading long. Ellipsis, what can you do? What can you show us here? Nowhere the sideline's getting loud. Nowhere near enough elevation on that throw. Daniel. That was a set play from Sunder. As soon as Mark Evans got the disc, Mark Neal heading deep. They wanting that look. The opportunity here for Ellipsis. Two goals from a national final. Mm. Toilet taking his time to walk to the disc, giving his cutters as much time as he can to rest. Prendergast has gone long. Lockton across the center. Dan Lockton receives it back. He's got Pete Ely long. Doesn't like it. Another McGuckin goes long this time. Ely gets up high to reel that one in. Right on the sideline, 30 from goal. They're halfway. Toilet working in close. Evans came in as he sensed that short reset. Couldn't get a clean look at it. Andrews now, 20 from goal. Bullet down the line. Prendergast right on the sideline. Can they do it? Last short Andrews. They've got numbers out on this high side. Lockton. He's got Sydney Dam in the corner. Hangs onto it. Taking his full measure of 10 seconds. Moving lateral again. Tool at center field now. Goes up the line, Tor's got to go high. Oh. Here comes Kevin Moore. Ooh. Knocks that away. Does it cleanly. Gavin Moore, can you Beautiful. believe it? It's not over yet for Sunder Dice. Saves a certain goal. Oh, oh my Lord. Oh, but he's not paying too much attention on his offense. Reed. Evans. Oh, Sends a fly in the back end. Ely with a huge block. Oh, he's happy about that. Gets that ahead of Peter Blakely. Quick reset from oh, Tola. Locked him with the goal. No. We're in sudden oh, death. Oh, my goodness me. 12 all. Game to 13. It's the last point, and everything is on the line. The stakes are as high as they could possibly be. It's nearly higher than a final, Simon. Oh. Wow. Gee whiz. What an amazing sequence of play. Gavin Moore with a huge day in the end zone and Peter Blakely oh. with the response. Peter Ely with that D there. And a quick restart. Let's not mess around. Oh. Lockman. <laughs> Nearly even did, a push pass. Did not waste any time getting himself free. <laughs> Double spike from Ellipsis. They are having a good time. As we heard from Chantel earlier, that was one of their aims to have a good time. 12 each. Both teams very carefully picking who they've got out there. This is the final point they will play today. With both the third place game and the final taking part tomorrow. So no need to save legs. So you hear the first whistle go. Come on, come on, Lamb. Ultimate Frisbee, a very simple sport. <laughs> Seven aside. You need to throw a frisbee around, have someone take a catch in the end zone. And the next team to do that will be in the Australian Ultimate Championships final. Daniel, quickly, before the pool goes up, what do you got? Both teams turning to their big players now. Lots of players just been savage the last couple of points. Mild anticlimax oh. in that pool there as that <laughs> drifts out of bounds. Rob Andrews sending that high, so. Dice get the advantage. Mark Evans is going to restart play. He'll have it. 44 metres from goal, centre field. Keep your eyes on Mike Neal at bottom right of your screen. Alex Evans with the matchup on him. And Peter Blakely in the middle in the orange boots. He's got Peter Ely with the matchup. Evans. Neal's gone straight away. Blakely's got space under. We've got a flat force preventing any upfield throws. Reed, Blakely. Bullet through to the hands. And a cold drop there from Sudas. Mm. Tallis. Slowly Alexis. walking to the next edge. It's gone deep. Surely this is going to go. Tallis has called timeout. Oh. Have they got another timeout? I think they do. And they're just asking can timeouts be called after time cap, which indeed they can be. Oh, they're celebrating a little prematurely here, Ellipsis. 
I don't know. They have the disc in their hands. They're confident in their offense. They're going to have a chat about it now and be sure they know what they're doing. We're almost certainly going to see Rob Andrews be the target of this one. So the question is going to be, who do Sunder put on him? Mm. Mike Neal said on the field, we know that. Peter Blakely also very capable defender. We'll probably see, I suspect we'll see Evans on the mark trying to block the thrower. Oh. Lots of loud energy, lots of noise among the ellipsis sideline. They can feel it. They can taste it. They're unlucky to miss out in 2019. Losing the semi-final there. Taking the bronze at that tournament. I don't think they want another one. I think they want a gold. And here we go. They'll set first. Once they set, they once offense set, they cannot move. Defense gets to set. And Peter Blakely taking Peter Really. They've got Sam McGuckin isolated the front with Mark Evans on that matchup. Mike Neal at the top there. They've also got Gavin Moore has got the assignment on Rob Andrews as we've seen all day. To it, looks to Lockton. Lockton oh. balls the forehand into Evans. Evans, he's got to look at Andrews. But Gavin Moore's got him covered. Short reset to Toolett. Toolett's got a free throw, but heads back in board to Evans. Evans to Lockton after Sudas has slipped over. Continues to Andrews. Looks to reset. Got to look to hit the high side. He's found Lockton oh. up the line. There's Peter Really. And they've done oh, it. They've Olympics done it. are in the final. They've done it. That must be. Look at them. That is one hell of a feeling. That is an unbelievable comeback from Olympics. And they have made their first Australian Ultimate Championships final. And they are happy. And you can see the girls over there on the sideline came over for the last minute support. And that will be Ellipsis looking like Ellipsis in the final. What a club. Devastating for Sunder. Oh. Dice will now head in towards the uh, bronze medal match tomorrow. We'll head down to Chantel Jones is with Max Halden. I'm here with Max Halden. Congratulations. What are your thoughts? Thank you. I'm totally overwhelmed with emotion. We're obviously stuck to win. Um, we look forward to seeing you in the grand final. Do you have any thoughts on that? Uh, it's going to be a really close game. They've beaten us twice, but we think we have their number and yeah, we're going to beat them. Awesome. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks for your time. Thank we'll you. see you soon. We are about to watch the women's semi-final. We've got Rogue coming up against Manly. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a moment.